Welcome to this Class 52 diesel hydraulic locomotive in British Rail blue livery. This brief introduction will go through the start, stop and passenger procedures. Before getting started some of the controls must be set in the rear cab so head over and climb aboard. To allow fuel to flow to the engines, the fuel transfer pump isolating switch must be set. There are two engines in this locomotive and each one must be activated. A handbrake is located in each cab and they both need to be released before moving. Everything's now set in the rear cab, so head to the front cab and continue preparations. Continue the startup process by setting the battery isolation switch. As in the rear cab, set the fuel and isolation switches. A lot of time will be spent in the driver's seat. Take a seat to continue. The master key is used to activate the control desk. Set the reverser in preparation to start the engines. This locomotive features two separate engines that are started independently. Start with the first engine. Now that the first engine is running, start the second one. Headlights are important in letting others around know that a locomotive is operational. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe and then unlock the doors. It's time to get going. Set the doors to locked. To charge the brake system, set the brake control appropriately. The brake pipe will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake. To set the direction of travel, use the reverser. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. It's important to provide a smooth ride for passengers.
With the train now moving, it's possible to apply more power and focus can be diverted towards achieving a desired speed. Posting is a method used on flat gradients to efficiently maintain a constant speed and reduce engine stress and maintenance requirements. On the approach to Twyford, start applying a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop.
As before, unlock the doors to allow access to the train for any passengers wishing to board or alight. Good work. That concludes the basics of this locomotive. Welcome to this Class 101 three-car diesel mechanical multiple unit in British Rail Blue and Grey livery. This brief introduction will cover startup, stopping, and passenger operations. Before getting started, some of the controls must be set in. Red lights are used to signify that this is the rear of the operational train. While the brakes in the lead vehicle hold the train, set this brake as indicated. Everything's now set up, so head to the front of the train to continue preparations. When ready, sit in the driver's seat. The control circuit key is used to activate the driver's desk. White lights will indicate to anyone around that this is the front of the operational train. This train features two engines in each driving vehicle. Now start the engines in the rear vehicle. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, then unlock the doors. Now use the reverser to set the direction of travel. It's time to move. Set the handbrake as indicated. This train features a gear system similar to cars on the road. 
To attain higher speeds, the active gear must be increased at the appropriate time. When accelerating and the RPM dial has reached the top of the yellow zone, it is appropriate to change up a gear. The brakes on this train act like a water tap. The higher the setting, the faster the train will stop. Open the valve to select the desired pressure, then close it again to maintain that pressure. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. It's important to provide a smooth ride for passengers. The process of changing gear has several steps. Set the throttle to idle and allow the engine RPM to reduce below the yellow zone. Engage the new gear, then return to the desired throttle application. Let's try. Observe that the train now has the ability to accelerate to a higher speed. When the RPM dial reaches the top of the yellow zone, repeat the gear change process to continue accelerating. There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. To cruise at a constant speed, the highest gear should be engaged. This reduces the speed the engine operates at and is fuel efficient. Stopping a train in the right place is the greatest skill of a driver. It may take a few attempts to get it right. The brake control on this train opens a vacuum, releasing pressure holding the brakes off the wheels. To maintain a specific pressure, close this valve by setting the handle to the lapped position. Aim to be doing no more than 15 miles per hour when the train reaches the platform. Then come to a stop anywhere alongside.
Well done. Practice makes perfect. Give a quick glance at the platform to ensure all is safe and then unlock the doors. Good work. That's the basics covered. A manual can also be obtained that provides more detail about the full functionality of this train and more. Welcome to this Class 08 diesel-electric shunting locomotive in BR Corporate Blue livery. This brief introduction will go through the start and stop procedures. Before entering the locomotive, the battery isolation switches need setting. Start with the left side. As with the left battery isolation switch, set the right side. Active lights are important to let others around know this locomotive is operational. A lot of time will be spent driving, so take a seat to continue. Go ahead and start the locomotive. Now that the engine is running, the master switch needs to be set. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. To ensure that nothing moves while preparations continue, adjust the locomotive brake accordingly. The locomotive brake is holding the train, so the rest of the brakes can be released. Reverser is used to set the direction of travel. It's time to move. Set the locomotive brake as indicated. Increase the throttle to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Be sure not to exceed over 8. With the train now moving, it's possible to apply more power and focus on achieving a desired speed. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain a constant speed and reduce engine stress and maintenance requirements. Make use of the brakes and throttle controls to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. Approaching the stop marker, apply a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop.
That concludes all the basics of this locomotive.